Hey, this is Joe from Brain Buffet. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a rough cut using the source monitor to trim and add clips to your timeline. I'm using an example from my Brain Buffet course on Premiere Pro, which I created to prepare students for their Adobe Certified Associate exam. Okay, we're going to practice putting five or six different clips down here on the timeline, and we're going to use a, a couple different techniques. It really doesn't matter which clips you use, so you don't have to follow exactly along with me the exact same time, but you, you should practice each of the techniques that we're going to use. So the next shot I'm going to do is the, uh, the close-up of the fall. So I'm going to double-click on that. I think I might just do a, a one or two second shot for this. So I'm just going to scrub to a spot, hit the end point. I'm going to hit space bar, which is play, go 1001, 1002. So approximately two seconds. I'll hit O for the out point or hit this button. All right. So again, we can drag and drop. Now let's say I don't want the sound of the falls. I'm just going to grab this clip here or grab this icon, drag video only and drop it onto video track one right next to this one. Now uh, to zoom in and zoom out, you can use this symbol right here, or this icon, this control, I guess is what it would be called to zoom in and zoom out. You can use the keyboard shortcut plus and minus on the key on your keyboard plus and minus. So you can kind of see that a little bit better now. So I've got two clips and one just has the audio or just the video. All right, let's do it another time. Let's go grab, I'm going to grab this river one. I'm going to double click on that and you can scrub through it, find the good spot. I, maybe it'll be where, where there's a pan here. So I'm going to grab that and make it around two seconds long. And now it's four seconds long, so I'll trim that. So you get the idea. You can, at any time, you can trim it. So there's drag and drop, and you can either drag the picture for both audio and video. You can just drag the audio in, or you could just drag the video in. So remember, we're just practicing at this point. Now, another way to bring your clips into the timeline is what we call insert and overwrite. So first, let me show you insert. Um, first of all, if I use my arrows on my keyboard, there's an arrow up and an arrow down. You can see it's jumping the current time indicator or CTI from each of these clips. I'm doing down arrow goes to the right, up arrow goes to the left. So I want to go here to the end and then I want to insert this clip. So this button right here is the insert and notice how the audio overlaps here. When I hit insert, it's going to cut that audio off and shove it down right down here. Let's say I didn't want that. I just wanted to go over right over the top of it. I'm going to control Z and this time I'm going to do overwrite. So overwrite, you could see it did not cut it and shove it over. It just went right over the top of that audio. So insert and overwrite are really two important ones to know um, and something that I as an editor use all the time. So let's say I want this next one to be this flower. I'll bring up the yellow flower. I'll set an end point, 1002. Set an out point, it's around two seconds, that's fine. My current time indicator is already here. Actually, let me go back. I'm gonna hit the arrow up. Oopsie, gotta be on the timeline to make that arrow up work. There we go. Let's say I wanna put it in between the fall shot and the river shot. I want this this flower. So I'll hit insert and you'll notice that it takes, shoves everything else over. So now I have the fall shot, the flower shot, and then the river shot. So insert and overwrite are really handy. Let me use my arrows to get down to the end there. I'll do another shot. How about this boat? And you're practicing, you're pausing, you're, you're testing these things out. You're, you're practicing getting your in and out points and, and you're looking at this number here to see how long your clips are going to be. So let's say I want this to be a little bit longer, maybe two and a half seconds. By the way, there are 30 frames in a second, at least these clips I shot at 30 frames per second. Um, sometimes you'll shoot 60 frames per second. So this will go up to 60. By the way, did you see that little blue bar? That was the auto save. And let me just show you what's been happening in the background. I'm going to bring up my Premiere profile and inside that, remember, here's all the folders we made and we made a folder called Premiere Pro files. If I open that up, there's the auto save folder. And if you open that up, it's been saving every five minutes, a copy of my project. Isn't that cool? I love it. And if, if Premiere Pro ever crashes, you can just go back in here, find the latest time, double click on it and away you go. 
back to editing on the timeline. Now, each of these um, insert and overwrite buttons have a, if you hover over a tool in any of the Adobe apps, just hover over it, it'll give you the keyboard shortcut. So overwrite is period, it looks like, and insert is um, comma. Excellent, so let's say, I'm gonna use, um, let's use overwrite, and boom, my boat is in there. So remember, you can use the arrows up, there's the boat, there's the river, there's the flower. So you can just really quickly go through each of the shots that you've done. So let's say I wanna put a different one in the very beginning. So which button would you use? Insert or overwrite? Well, let's try it. Let's get this, well, I kinda of like this cool blurry shot that comes into focus. So I'm gonna start it in blurry and I'm gonna go back into focus there. So about a second and a half. Now, the insert button, let me go ahead and click on it, and boom, you can see it just put it in there. Let me undo that. Sometimes you wanna drag and drop and you want to have that move over. So to do an insert but drag and drop, hold the control down on a PC or command on a Mac and drag. And you'll see you get these cool little arrows. The arrows are saying, hey, I'm gonna shove everything over to the right. So as soon as I let go of the mouse, don't let go of control, keep control held down, let go of the mouse, you can see it brings it in and shoves it over. So that's a, a drag and drop insert. You can either hit the keyboard shortcut, comma, or you can drag and drop with control held down. So what I need you to do is keep going. I need you to get, I don't know, five or six different clips, about two to three seconds each, and you need to get about 16 seconds because the total project is gonna be about 16 seconds long. So let me see, I might go grab, uh, I don't know, this river shot here, set an end point, set an out point, and drag and drop. I don't know, there's just all sorts of different ways to do this. Um, there was a red flower in here somewhere. There it is, the red flowers. So I'll go grab that. Set an out point, three seconds. And let me come back here. I'm gonna use one of those keyboard shortcuts because I'm practicing those. This time I'm gonna hit comma and that would be an overwrite. Now, do you have to memorize all these things? Really, this should become muscle memory. Uh, you should be practicing these keyboard shortcuts like comma and period for insert and overwrite. And again, you should know the buttons, that's for sure. Um, as an editor, you know, I, I'd be scared if you finish this course and you didn't know how to insert or overwrite a file. So make sure that you've got that down. All right, so now we've got a whole bunch of um, these um, clips. Now, occasionally you might, you know, you might think, okay, at a specific time, I need to insert a clip. Let's say you know the music or the voiceover has something at a specific time. Let's say it's three seconds. Just like we did here in the playhead, we can type in a specific number down here in the sequence. So I'm gonna type in three seconds, go to that exact spot, and let's say I want this flower shot to go in between these two shots of the falls. So I'm gonna hit an insert and watch. It'll cut the fall shot. Here's a fall shot and here's a fall shot, and in between is the flowers. So practice that, inserting a shot at a specific spot. Then uh, let's go to another spot. Let's try 10 seconds, 10 seconds. And let's do an overwrite of mm, these rocks. Let's try an overwrite shot of these rocks. I'll just make it about a second and a half to two seconds, somewhere in that range, and we'll try an overwrite. So watch. I'll zoom in on this spot. So I'll click here. So the timeline is selected. Hit the plus symbol. It, I'm gonna put in a shot right here and it should wipe out this cut. It should wipe out the end of falls and the beginning of yellow. So let's try that. An overwrite and boom. You can see it over, overwrote that. So practice your insert, your overwrite, your drag and drops using video only, audio only. And at the end, when you're finished with this lesson, you should have about five to six clips, maybe seven or eight on your timeline. And it should be about, I don't know, somewhere between 16 and 20 seconds long.
Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.